kept insisting that the, the piece of paper you gave me had both. I go, I don't see it. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Well, then don't think. That's what people get into trouble when they start thinking. Really? So, you know, don't you, think. you never gave me. That's your advice. Don't think. Okay. Yeah, don't think. Hello. Your license, please? Yeah, sure. It's not because of your loud exhaust. Yeah, it's loud, isn't it? It's a little too loud. There you go. Okay, look for the registration and insurance. Yeah, it's right here. Understand. This car's not quiet, so we'll see. Maybe there's like a municipality ordinance thing that he give me a ticket for. Now this car's not from here, so he give me a ticket for it being too loud because it's from California. Maybe he didn't know it wasn't from California until he pulled me over. We'll find out. He's pretty chill. He's got to admit, though. I gotta see if I can get him to admit that it sounds good. It does sound good. Let's see, let's see if we can get him to admit it sounds good. Guess loud, but it sounds good. V12 Lamborghini, come on. Who doesn't love a V12 Lamborghini sound? We'll find out in a minute. What's really interesting is he asked me for my, li my license, but then my insurance and my registration, but then he walked away. He's taking pictures right now of the exhaust. Well, that's fine. You can take all the pictures you want. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Yeah, first drive. Our first drive coming from uh, LA and then back down to the hotel. And then we're just heading to our shop. So I'll ask him some questions about it, considering that the car is from Canada. I'm curious to know, like, what is the um, legal requirements of a tourist coming into this country because they're not informed like they don't tell you at the border if you drive across the border which we do and they don't tell you when you fly down like listen if you're driving a car down here it has to be within these decibel limits or any of that kind of stuff so we'll see what he says i'm genuinely curious i got all my paperwork right here i'm just waiting for him to come back it looks like he's already writing the ticket without your paperwork. That's fine. If you get pulled over on a bike cop, you're not getting a warning. <laughs> His job <laughs> well, is to do what he's doing. I am curious to know, like, how is it if you're from another country where there, we don't have the law, you know, for decibel limits in Alberta? So it's like or like having to deal with the emission stuff. So it's like, I wonder what is the law here where it's like, if you're a tourist and you're driving your car down here, what is or isn't allowed? Because like in Florida, you can have all sorts of different vehicles insured for the road. So if someone from Florida drives to California, it's right. like, you're not allowed to bring your car here if it's legal in Florida, but not legal here. Like, where would they tell you that? They don't tell you at the state line. We just drove actually from here to Arizona and back. And there's nowhere, no signs, no checkpoints that say, these are the laws. These are what you, you have to do with your, your vehicle. The law really states that if you have a car here in California and you're registering it, you are to follow the laws here. So you can't even get the car registered or anything here unless it passes smog and all that sort of stuff. So here you can ask. Hey, do you think you have money to be generous? Pardon me? It's not taking, it's not taking the uh, British Columbia. What's not? It's not taking this for some reason. What do you mean? Is your Huntington Beach address or no? I don't have a Huntington Beach address. Okay. Yeah. I have my Canadian address. Okay. What, what, what's the issue? Yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, not take it. This is all computers. I, I should do a paper one. No, but what's the issue with the car? What's the issue with the car? It's a loud exhaust. Yeah, but it's not from here. Yeah, the BC address, the Canadian address. 
He goes, can I use your Huntington Beach address? So he knows who we are. Yeah, because right now he has your ID with your candy license. Like, yeah. there's nothing that says Huntington Beach on it. No. So this officer, I think this officer is, and it is, Remember the guy who yelled at me and told me not to think? Well, then don't think. That's when people get into trouble, when they start thinking. You understand? Really? So, you know, don't you, think. you never gave me. That's your advice. Don't think. Okay, yeah, don't think. Is that him? That's him. No. Yeah, that's him. Oh, so we're on Costa Mesa right now, then? Uh, yeah, still. What? I thought I recognized him. Yeah. Bro, so serendipitous. It is him. He's just pulling us over because he knows who we are. And yep. he's, just, he's just being a, you know, he's just being that guy. So this is the 1% police officer who wants to use their power in a way to just annoy people for any little thing. This is the 1% officer that makes the other 99% who are actually out there dealing with real stuff look bad. And to be fair, and to be very clear, when we were driving, we were in traffic. It's busy on this street. So we weren't repping, revving or ripping around. It was very just driving normal. Yeah. So he saw the car and then found a reason he to could, pull it over. He could also hear it. I mean, the car, the, the car sounds amazing. It's not, it's not super quiet. No, but like, it wasn't like you were doing a full gear pull. You were driving. No, it wasn't being obnoxious. Cars, no, right? not being obnoxious at all. Just cruising. But definitely way louder than any of this stuff. The, the difference, though, is, is that this car doesn't need to abide by the laws here because it's not from here. Just like a, a Florida car or a Utah car or a car from New York coming here, if their state rules are different than California's rules, a car doesn't need to follow the rules here. It can still come here and drive around. Does he have your insurance papers or anything? No. So He's got my, he's got my license plate. Interesting. Uh -huh. He knows who we are. The last pullover, he told you he had too many numbers on your address or whatever. Remember that? Yeah. There's too many numbers on here. You're like, wait, it's too many numbers. Too many numbers. I was driving the F12 back then. Too many numbers. Excuse me? Way too many numbers. What is? This thing. It's got too many numbers, the address. According to the police officer, there's too many numbers. Oh, by the way, here's, here's somebody else. Yeah. Way back? No. <laughs> I did not. I could ask him if he wants any of this information or are there too many numbers. He was really like had a hard time staying calm the last time. He's doing much better now. Yeah, he actually He's probably watched the video, I would imagine, or he's been talked to about the yeah. video. Because he was like, it's too many numbers. And he's he's not wanting to communicate with the driver. So like, he asked me for my license, which I gave him. And then he asked for my insurance and registration, which I got out, which he's not yet asked me for. It's pretty interesting though that he asked me, uh, and that was pretty funny. He's like. Can I use your Huntington Beach address? Interesting, because that's not in your license. How and I was like, that? well, I don't have a Huntington Beach address. And I don't when it comes to this car. This car is registered to our address in Alberta. That's the address the car belongs to. The car, by the way, it's not my personal car. It's in a company. The car belongs to a corporation in Alberta. So. What color is your hair? Sorry, me? What color is your hair? Uh, it's brown. What color are your eyes? Green. How tall are you? Six foot. And your weight? My weight? Yeah. Well, it's the new year, so it's a new me. I'm trying to get down. I think I'm 215. And your date of birth? Uh, January 30th, 1979. All that information should be on my license. It's not. It's not? Oh. It's three kilograms and... Oh, and kilos. I, gotcha. I don't know. So, Let me see the registration. Yeah, sure. So what's the issue with the car being a bit louder? It's from Canada, so it's a tourist car. It's not from here. So what would the ticket be for? Which model is this? It's a Murcielago. 
最纯洁，他们把这种的也都拿出来让人观看。So what was interesting was he said, "Can can you?" He said, "Can you use my Huntington Beach address?" I don't understand that. Is this vehicle registered to you? It's registered to the uh, corporation in Alberta. So it's an Alberta car. It's got Alberta plates. You can you saw that right? Well, you know now it's got Al- Alberta registration, yeah. Heard of me? This is part of the company. Yes. So what's what's the issue though? Like an out of state, an out of state car driving here is just like a noise violation. What's the ticket? What's the ticket for? Zero one four November. What's the ticket for? I'll show you when I get done with this. Oh, okay. Without admitting guilt, I need you to sign here. Yeah, so what's the ticket for? Once you sign, I'll explain everything to you. You won't explain it to me before I sign it? That seems a little unfair, don't you think? A loud muffler. Pardon me? A loud muffler. What? So, I don't understand though, is how is, I want to know the law. So, how is it that yeah. the law is. So you sign here, because you're kind of. Uh, Pardon? You guys know you have conversation in your. Um... He's not in trouble, dude. It's so, I'm just telling you, you have what? condensation in your car. Oh, yeah, that's not good. I understand, though. Thank you. You startled me. I wasn't sure you were there the whole time. I'm I'm sorry. I was just telling you you have condensation in your tiller. Appreciate it. Thank you. So what's the ticket for? What's it? No, I understand that. So is it a fine or do I? I'm warning you on the speed. Sorry, you're warning me on the what? Yes, I'll sign it, but I need to. I need you to explain to me what the. Recorded right now. Okay, you're kind of delaying my dude. Just gonna sign. No, I understand, but you're asking me to sign something I don't understand. I didn't mean to scare you, dude. I was just trying to tell you. I didn't know if you knew or not. Can, I appreciate it. Can you explain the ticket to me? He's asking me to sign, but not saying what the ticket's for. He's asking questions, but he's not explaining it. I just got here, so I have no idea why he pulled you over. I literally was just driving down the street. I saw he's out here, so I just appreciate missed. that. Maybe go talk to him because now he's walked away. Okay. I just want to know what I'm signing. He won't explain it to me. Is it a food talk? What? It's a Mercy Lago. Mercy Lago? Nice, dude. What year? 2003. Okay. I just want to know what the ticket's for. You're saying a lot of exhaust, but I want to know, like, okay, so is it a fine? I don't understand. The court handles that. No, I understand the court handles that. But I need, I need to understand, if you're pulling me over, why have I done anything wrong if I'm from another country? Like, my car is legally allowed to be here. When I come here, I'm not told it can't be a certain loudness, it can't be a certain thing. So you're saying something's wrong with my car, I did something wrong, and I'm asking you, okay, it's, can you turn that, can you turn the radio down a little? So I can hear it, but I can't hear it's hard to have a conversation with you if you want to give me a ticket for something. There's no traffic So I understand you're saying loud exhaust, but yeah. how, how is it a car from Canada is breaking the law? I know, but so the ticket, what's the ticket for though? Do I have to fix it? Do I have to pay a fine? It's Pardon me? 148, 148. What do you mean that's for the court? It's up to the court to decide. You know, you explain to them that it's But you're not telling me what the ticket's like actually going to do. What do you mean that that's what the court's going to decide? Well, explain to them that the vehicle doesn't belong here or it's not. No, the, the vehicle belongs here. Are Canadian cars not allowed to come to the United States? Are Canadian cars not allowed to come here? Really? You're, like, you're not going to answer any of my questions? So I'm reading right here, code, loud muffler, speed visual estimation. So you're, what's the speed visual estimation? 
Pardon me? Well, you just said that you're writing me a ticket for a loud exhaust, but now you're saying there's a speed thing on here. So you're trying to sneak something else on here and you're trying to get me to sign something. Where do we draw the line on this one? I don't know what you pull for. Speeding and a loud exhaust. But you just said just loud exhaust. I mean, he's delaying my duties right now. You have until the 25th of uh, March to take care of this. If you don't agree with the uh, citation, you can go to court. Yeah, I will respond to so we'll, uh, the judge make a decision, okay? Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll go talk to your superiors. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah, later. Wow. All right. What detachment is he from? So he is Costa Mesa Police Department. Find me that address, please. Okay. So yeah, you did get a speeding ticket. All right. So I'm bringing my ticket to the office that that officer is from because I want to explain that one. Uh, he wasn't explaining to me, as you guys could see, what my ticket was for. He said loud exhaust, but then I could see on the ticket there was more, and I kept asking him, well, what's it for? And then I could see, well, what's this? And he's like, well, estimated speed too. He was trying to get me to sign the ticket without explaining to me what the whole ticket was really about. So he's being very misleading on purpose. Um, Torres, the officer, also has a history of like harassing people. I Once I recognized him, we know a lot of people in the car community down here that he basically does this where he like tries to like fudge and basically push his um, power onto people in the car community. So I'm gonna go and talk to someone and I might even go as far as filing a complaint. But this is what you can do. If you feel like you're being pushed around or bullied or you've a, you've gotten a ticket for something you shouldn't have got, like legitimately you shouldn't have gotten. Now listen, loud exhaust for sure. One, I actually wasn't speeding. We were in traffic as Dave said. We were driving through. We are doing exactly the speed limit in, in the city. So his visual, visual estimation, that's just him throwing something on there that he has zero evidence, zero proof of, which I have a problem with. So I'm, you know, I've also had a run in with him before. He was very unprofessional. He's obviously not yelling or anything today, but he's also still being more unprofessional. And this is years later. So he has a habit of this. So the only way to really combat this is you can go in and professionally and, and you know, calmly file a complaint on the officer. Do you also have a superior here I can talk to? Oh, about, yeah, a superior, like yeah. a sergeant or someone I can talk to about traffic? Yeah, Thanks so much. Thank you very much. How's it going? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you watching. Who are you driving around? Mercy Alaga. Yeah. How's your, how's your New Year been? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Alright, give me one second, I'll grab someone for you, okay? Thank you very much. Here you go. Cheers. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. I just had a, a traffic situation with Officer Torres. Okay. Officer Torres and I have uh, had history. Okay. Um, he pulled me over today, explained that he pulled me over for a uh, loud muffler. Okay. First of all, my car, myself, we're tourists. I'm from Canada. Okay. Car's not from here. Okay. So I guess the first part is, I'd like a little more clarification on, um, you know, if a car from Canada that doesn't have the same emission standards or noise standards, uh, the province of Alberta that the car is registered to, okay. doesn't have a decibel issue or anything. Got it. Um, and it's essentially exempt from, you know, having to follow those rules when traveling here based on the treaty between Canada and the United States, just like we can drive down here on our Canadian licenses. Okay. So, you know, giving me a ticket for a loud, loud exhaust, is that a city ordinance? It's a California ordinance, California, California vehicle code. Any right. vehicle on the roads in California are subject to the California rules of the road. So if it's got crazy loud exhaust, it's 
subject to that exception. I, can I see what you cited before? Yeah, so here's, here's the reason why I, really, I have a real problem with it. When he first approached me, he asked me for my um, driver's license. Okay. He also asked me for my uh, registration and insurance, of course. Okay. But um, when I had all of it in my hand, he only took my license. Okay. He went back, started writing the ticket immediately without insurance or registration. Okay. He came back and said, my British Columbia address won't populate in his computer system. Okay. Could he use my Huntington Beach address? I said, I don't have a Huntington Beach address. Okay. So there's a company that I have down here that's in Huntington Beach. Okay. So he knows my car. He essentially knew the car, knew who I was before he even pulled me over. Because okay. there's no information on my driver's license or on my car that would suggest that I have a Huntington Beach address down here. Okay. So right away, he's, he's basically telling me indirectly, I know who you are. I know your car's down here at this I'm location. You at some point. Very, very good assumption, right? Okay. So he's essentially uh, targeting me on some level. And then on top of all that, he wrote on the ticket when he was trying to get me to sign it uh, that I was speeding, a visual estimate, which he wouldn't verbally tell me what the ticket was all for. I could see there was a whole bunch of stuff on it. He was holding it up higher, so I couldn't really see. Like, he wasn't holding it like this, he was holding it like this. He kept trying to get me to sign it, and I was like, well, I want you to explain everything that's on the ticket. Sure. And he wouldn't explain what was on the ticket. He kept saying, it's for, for loud, for loud it's a muffler. Okay. And I was just like, well, there's more on the ticket. And he looks at the other officer on the other side and goes, well, what do we do here? He, he, he's not gonna write this ticket, or he's not gonna sign the ticket. And I said, well, I'll just sign it then, I'm gonna go to the police station and you know, essentially file a complaint on you because you won't talk to me. I asked you five, six, seven times what the ticket's for, you're not telling me. You're trying to get me to sign a ticket for things that are on here that you're not verbally telling me. So here's the ticket. and his visual estimation of me speeding is complete BS, because we were driving through an intersection just before he pulled me over, and I was in heavy flow of traffic, and we had just basically from a red light proceeded through the intersection. So I probably wasn't even up to the actual speed limit. Now look, I'm not denying my car is probably loud based on some people's standards, Sure. right? Um, my car's foreign, it's not from here. Okay. I think based on you know some of the values that your guys' police station say that they follow, things like professionalism. I don't believe Torres was very professional today. He's definitely not been professional in the past. He's actually yelled at me. I've made a video about that on the internet. I do make videos. And one of the other ones on your guys' values was empathy. He showed zero empathy to me, right? And he's obviously got some sort of problem with me because he targeted the car. He wrote me a ticket for speeding, which I wasn't speeding. And he even very clearly demonstrated he knew who we were because he told me I had a Huntington Beach address, which nothing I gave him would let him know that. All right? So one, I would like to A, file a complaint, and B, you know, I can deal with this in the courts. I'm sure that's what you're gonna tell me. What, so help, help me understand what are you exactly complaining about the what His unprofessionalism, lack of communication around giving me a ticket. He wouldn't explain to me what was going on. And on some level, I mean, I'm sure it's like, you know, he's targeting me. So I don't know if it falls into the harassment category because I haven't seen him in years, but he knows who I am. Like, he personally targeted my vehicle today. Thank you. What's your name? So prior to stopping you, I guess what I'm trying to understand is what you're alleging is that prior to stopping you, he knew that it was you behind the wheel of the car? Yep. I, again, I, I wasn't there. I didn't see where he was. I, um, so I understand. Pick something up from him. Not being yes. there. Yeah. Um, I don't have any of his body camera footage to review yeah. yet, so I can't. Yeah. No of course. I did. He knew I was coming between the 11 going and 1. based upon what right. you've uh, told me. I haven't talked with him. So. Yeah, thank you. I understand. Oh. And thank you for clarifying the, uh, the California uh, loud exhaust. Yeah, we, we, we've had this before. Um, uh, I was in court recently on a case. Uh, a car uh, was registered in Vegas. Very loud. Didn't have... Um, admissions stuff that's required in California yep. and um, the judge had upheld that yeah based upon the California vehicle code it's, it's supposed to be in compliance despite the fact it's registered elsewhere so um, I can't speak specifically to a US Canadian treaty and how the court may view that maybe 
they'll take that uh, differently. Mm -hmm. Now, there's supposed to be some leniency and exemptions that if you're a tourist and you want to drive your vehicle down and it's, you know, not unsafe, right? right? Unsafe would be different. I understand that. Um, you know, you can't come here and, and say, well, you know what, in Timbuktu, we don't have to drive with seatbelts. And you're like, well, here you do, right? That's different. Um, we're talking about a noise violation that is negligible, negligible based on opinion of decibel readings or whatever, which he didn't take any of. Yeah, I get it. I, I didn't hear a call. Yeah. Oh, I understand. I, yeah, I understand. I can tell you uh, from where I sit, I get calls, uh, not every, probably not every day, but certainly multiple times a week where um, the residents and community are up in arms over loud vehicles. For sure. Um, street racing is a uh, problem that we deal with here pretty regularly. So, uh, well, well, if there's the any resident. Officers do try to address because the yeah. community wants it addressed. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, if you want to file a complaint, I would, yeah. provide you a form. Sure. You're able to uh, fill in the information. Yeah, I've filled them up before. You got it? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, is there a clipboard by chance? Yeah, if you want to steal one of these clipboards, you can grab a seat. Fill it out and then uh, when I'll you try not to back steal back. it. That's probably illegal. What's that? I was just joking with you. I said I'll probably try not to steal it. That would be illegal. Uh, but I'll come back up and we can. I'll go over it with you to make sure we uh, got it all and understand what we're after. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, thanks, sir. Very professional. Oh. Now I got this form to fill out. This is what you got. Civilian complaint process. It'll walk you through if you've never done this before, like kind of what you have to do, the steps, what will be followed up on, and uh, I'll just have to fill this out. It's usually this front page, and then you have to write like in full description somewhere. What happened, the events. Uh, there it is. Yeah. You can go ham on that thing. All right, we'll do that, we'll be right back. All right, so I've written it out, which I hate writing but you basically write out on however many pieces of paper you want, the incident, what happened, blah, 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 what you felt was unprofessional, or whatever your complaint is, the harassment, and uh, submit it, and then just wait <laughs> for a reply. So this is what I'm gonna do, and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. I'll talk to that same uh, superior officer. And just to be clear, the complaint I'm filing is, I'm filing a complaint for lack of communication. He was being purposely vague, so unprofessional on some level, targeting me, borderline, obviously harassing me because I've had a run-in with him in the past because he immediately impl implicated, he knew who we were because he was like, do you want me to write down your Huntington Beach address? And there's nothing attached to my car or my driver's license or anything that we were doing in that moment to suggest otherwise like so he knew that he knew who we were so and he wrote me a bogus speeding ticket all right like i admitted hey the car is loud if that if it's loud and i have to take a ticket for being loud i'll take the loud ticket i'm not taking the bs ticket that he tried to write me for speeding yeah. i know this stays up here oh okay thank you there you go Yeah, um, so um, my best recommendation would be to uh, contact the court because, like, what I'm hearing is that they like to, like, come to the case that that's making it confusing for you. Okay. Are you Mr. Uh, Coulter? Yeah. Yes, sir. You were in the car? I was. So, um, at the end of that, thank you very much, at the end of my, what I wrote there, uh -huh. I made reference to... Uh, being pulled over by Officer Torres previously. Previous incident, yeah. And him being unprofessional, un unempathetic, as you guys state, or in your values, very combative. Okay. And uh, I have that on video. In fact, it's right here. And this is his advice to someone when he's pulling someone over in the public. What, okay? Well, then don't think. That's when people get into trouble, when they start thinking. You understand? Really? So, you know, don't you, you never gave me. That's your advice. Uh, don't think. Okay, post, yeah, don't think. Why are you so aggressive? Ago? How am I aggressive? Dude, listen, I'm like... You understand? Really? So, you know, don't you, you think. never gave me. That's your advice. Don't think. Okay, yeah, don't think. 
Why are you so aggressive? How am I aggressive? I'm with this video. You're like, I mean, seen it at some point in the past. So he clearly today saw the car, targeted me. Now listen, look, my car, is it loud? In retrospect, sure. I have no problem with the loud exhaust ticket. Okay. All right, happy to take that. But it's the, this time, because he knows we're filming, the vagueness, the not even willing to talk to me, and then just clearly right off the bat, obviously identifying that he knew of a Huntington Beach address, that just implied to me, he, he just, he saw me, targeted me, and then threw uh, a speeding ticket on there, but was trying to cover it up with getting me to just sign it and take the ticket, um, which you'll see on the body cam footage when you get it from him, but not explaining like anything further. Like, he's being very purposely, you know, vague to the point where now it's like, it's too far the other direction. And he's trying to get me to take a ticket that has speeding on there. And he's not even identifying it's speeding until I said, well, hold on, there's something else on here. And he goes, well, yeah, yeah, speeding. A uh, visual estimation, which, Look, I know you guys get trained in that stuff, but I think for the most part, a lot of people don't really believe that a visual estimation is a very accurate reading. So yeah, I just, the, the form of harassment, the unprofessionalism, you know, that's what I have a problem with. And the, and the speeding ticket, I have a problem with the exhaust ticket. I know my car is loud. If I have to get a, an exhaust ticket while I'm here with that car, while it's in town for a bit, and there's some sort of fine that I need to pay, I understand that. I understand that it's an out-of-state car. It's not gonna be reprimanded in the sense of like, the exhaust has to be taken off. You know, the idea is like, hey look, your, your car is loud, you're gonna pay kind of like a penalty for it being here while it's here, right? But at the same time, you know, that's also within the officer's judgment, so. Like he didn't take any decibel reading or anything. The, the law doesn't require a decibel. No, I understand. Sometimes they do. Um, I understand. But, but sometimes they don't. Uh, My point is that this this all felt targeted and like retaliation for probably what he didn't like, which is being held accountable for his previous unprofessional outlash, telling telling people not to think. I don't know, as an officer and as a human being, do you think telling people to not think is good advice? Sometimes it might be. But yeah, I, I, I've seen that sound clip. I don't know the entirety of the contact. Um, it's kind of like um, a, a news clip. There's oftentimes a, a, you know, an edited little snippet or sound bite. So. People can well, that that was in reference yeah. to me just giving him insurance and giving him my uh, my information. Uh, things can look differently without all the context. Having done the, the job for 20 plus years, uh, there's multiple sides to every story. The officer side, your side. Um, well, the context of the, of not thinking was just simply me giving him the information. Like frustrated there, or yeah. uh, annoyed with. Uh, again, I, I don't know what led up to that. I, wasn't there, I haven't seen that. Yeah, well, you can go watch the video. It's all there. The only parts that are cut out are the dead space. Nothing between him and I are, is cut out. Also, he got very frustrated in the fact that there were too many numbers for him to deal with. It's like, well, I don't know, like, I'm from Canada. We don't have zip codes. We have postal codes. So we have letters mixed in with numbers. I don't know if the officer can't handle that. But if he can't handle that, he shouldn't be walking around with a badge and a gun. That's my opinion. Yeah, so again, we'll take a look at all the information. We'll review the, the footage. You obviously have your footage today. He's got footage. And it'll get sent up to our professional standards unit. They're the ones that take a look at oh, yeah. you all these and see if it violates policy. Um, I know you made reference to um, empathy. Uh, traffic officers, their job is to write tickets, not, you know, so saying you're looking for empathy from there. That, that's the traffic officer's job. That's what our chief expects them to do is to address traffic violations. So, um, well, but was it, but it, as far the as empathy not part explaining the other stuff and unprofessionalism? Certainly, we have a standard of professionalism. We expect our officers to act professionally with the public and the people they're dealing with out there. So, if that's an issue, then that'll, that'll certainly be addressed. The empathy part comes from you guys have it written in your values for police. But, it doesn't but, say that traffic like officers that. are exempt but from empathy that. Empathy doesn't mean we're not going to hold people to the, the uh, lawful legal standards. Of, of course not, but you shouldn't write, you also shouldn't write tickets for something someone didn't do. Agreed. That's, that's a waste of the court's time, that's a waste of everybody's time. For lawful, it, legitimate violations. Correct. It's the exact thing that sent me in here today.
right? Now, now, now your time is here, right? And our time, which we don't, I have better things to do than this, that do a lot better for me than standing here and having this conversation. But that's where the empathy comes into where he, he went the complete opposite way. There was a complete lack of any of that kind of emotion brought into the professional handling of the traffic violation, which was the loud exhaust, and then throwing in this other stuff as retaliation and all this other stuff for whatever. Like he clearly, you know, has had an issue in the past with me where he's gotten all can't control his emotions. Now look, you guys are police officers. Like you guys go to special training to handle this exact situation all day, every day. You should be able to walk up to a car and have a calm conversation with someone who's also having a calm conversation with you. If someone's being combative or disrespectful or whatever, then I understand that's also why you guys are trained to stay, stay composed, stay in control. But he's literally demonstrated in the past a lack of control, right? So I'm just saying like, it just seems like he's doing that again, just in a, not a verb, as verbal of a sure. way. So that's, that's all, that's why I'm here. Had he not written a speeding ticket, which my business partner and I both know is bullshit, I wouldn't even be here, all right? My car's loud, I get it. I'll pay that fine. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, take Thank care. you for taking it, you were very good. Thank you. Thank you. And that's that. Hey, dude. Yeah, I'm good, man. Update you guys later.